When we had last left Andreas, he had a meal where he sat down with Father Gernot of the Abbey, and it was there that Gernot asked him to seek out the peasants and try to convince them to halt their revolt. Otherwise, consequences may be quite dire. However, after that intense meeting with Father Gernot, Andreas traveled back to Tassing, where St. John's Eve had begun its annual festival. There, the folks of the town gathered and seemed quite happy. Spirits were high, although some trouble loomed ahead just on the horizon. Now, it was time to collect Kaspar, his apprentice, and settle down for the night. This is Pentiment. Welcome back. Let's head over and chat with Kaspar. Also, I accidentally did the opening twice. I completely forgot to do the part where I say, <laughs> when we had last left Andres, I just immediately got into it. I got, like, betwixt by the fire and the smoke. I was too busy looking at it. I just jumped ahead of the opening. So hopefully I remember to cut that. Otherwise, there's going to be a part of me saying it again without that. And then you're going to hear me drink it, drink some water, and there's going to be a long silence. So fingers crossed, I remember. I'm putting this in here just in case I do forget. There's your explanation. Anyway, Kaspar, look quite happy. Master Andreas, look at how big the bonfire is. The decorations are so fancy. The St. John's Eve Festival is a big event for Tassing. I missed it last time I was here. Haven't you ever been to a festival like this, Kaspar? The festivals in Nuremberg are much bigger. Tassings is quite tame, comparatively. It is interesting that we have the option to, like, reconfigure our character to talk up Nuremberg relative to Tassing, despite the fact that, like... Well, is there an, a way to go through this to where Andreas doesn't dread... Going back, I guess you could configure to where it's like Andreas dreads and hates the work, but does like Nuremberg or something like that, right? Anyway, I missed it the last time I was here. Haven't you been to a festival like this, Kaspar? No, I've never actually, I've never seen anything like this. Can I stay at the bonfire and see the costumes and watch them collect herbs, Master Mahler? Please. All right, but follow along and don't get in their way. I'm too tired for the festival. I think I'll just turn in for the night. No, Kaspar, it's late, and I don't want to risk the abbot's anger. Let's just head back and go to sleep. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> huh. I mean, what could they do tonight, right? <laughs> this is really... Like, I wanna... Oh, man. In this situation... Like, like I wanna have a different explanation for no Caspar, right? But it is forcing my hand, right? You know? I would wanna say no Caspar. I'm, I'm too tired. It's not safe for you to be out all night and stuff like that, right? You're just a kid. You need an adult. Or I'd be like, okay, Kaspar, but I want you to stay with someone, right? And I'm just like, Father Thomas will watch over you or some shit. Or Otto will watch over you. Someone, someone that we're on good terms with will watch over you, right? And maybe we will say that. Maybe we will, right? All right, but follow along and don't get in their way. I'm too tired for the festival. I think I'll just turn in for the night. Yes, I promise I won't make trouble. I'll see you tomorrow, Master. <laughs> Kaspar, you better not die. <laughs> okay. Let's head on back. There we are. Lovely. And then... Oh, yeah. Our Lady of the Labyrinth. Should we peek in here real quick? Meh. 
Nothing much. Very conspicuous, that uh, floorboard, though, right? Especially the talk of the labyrinth. I don't know, all these references to labyrinths. Maybe it's more literal than figurative. Okay, golden hand in. Good. I mean, something is definitely going to happen, right? <laughs> there's, there's no way this goes over entirely well. Oh, Samuel. You're still here. Huh, just saying hello. Okay. Let's head on up. There we are. Good. And let's go to the guest room. Anything with this? The room is sparse compared to what I'm used to. Okay, let's go to bed. It's getting late. I should get some rest. Go to sleep. Maybe we'll have another fucked up dream. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, it's dream time, baby. Hell yes. Oh! It's a labyrinth! It, I think it looks just like the one that we had seen at, um... What do you call it? Oh, shit. Okay. Do I actually have to solve it? Actually, I think there might only be one way. It's just very long. Okay. Over here... Yeah, there is only one route. It's just very, like, winding. I wonder if we'll get, like, an interruption or something. Oh, Sabine. I bet this will be the only way that we ever come into contact with Sabine. Oh, and now this is an updated version of her appearance, right? This is how we know her to appear. What is it? Ellipses. What? Wait. Wait. Come home. I will, soon. Stop bothering me. I know. I know. You know what? You want me home. You've been asking me for months. And for months you haven't answered. What am I to you now? An annoyance? A bother? Oh, a nuisance to be ignored while you lead another life in London? Was there ever an ounce of love in your heart for me? Of course there was. This was never about love, Sabine. As much as you had for me. I do kind of like that the player doesn't have agency in... Uh, Andreas falling out of love, right? Because I feel like most people will play a game and want that to go over pretty well, right? You want it to be... You want to have, like, a... an optimistic outlook on a character's relationship, especially if you're playing them, right? So that kind of leads to, like, not many games where you have that level of agency exploring a relationship that goes awry, you know? Anyway, of course there was. This was never about love, Sabine, as much as you had for me. Let's say of course there was. Though maybe that's a lie, right? Huh. Or should we say this was never about love because we were, in a sense, like, betrothed or whatever, right? Oh, man. As much as you had for me, I like that, though. You can't help but be cruel, can you? Notice her, like, script is very peculiar, right? Like, the lines really fly off like this. Huh. I hate talking to you when you're like this. Say nothing. Let's say that. I hate talking to you when you're like this. You hate everything about me. I don't hate you. You don't love me. It doesn't matter. Go back to your work. The only thing that makes you happy. 
This house is so lonely without him. Stop. Your presence would only amplify the grief. Stop. Leave me alone. Leave me alone with the memory of him. Stop. Ellipses. Just leave me alone. Just for one night. One night where I don't have to dream about him. Please. Oh my god. Did it happen to us too? Holy shit. Did it happen to us too? Thank you. Wow, in the game? Holy shit, and it skipped over it. Only for us to find out like this. No way. Holy shit, that is wild as hell. August. Oh my god, it happened to us too, didn't it? It 100% happened to us. Andreas, ellipses, ellipses. Hello, August. Ellipses. What am I supposed to do? Just wait here with you? I know you aren't going to say anything. I know you aren't going to say anything. You never say anything. I'm... Sorry, I couldn't do anything for you. I'm so tired, August. I suppose there's not much one can do against the plague. Against plague. Oh, fuck. I'm so tired, August. Do you... Get tired where you are. The last time I saw you, I said goodnight to you. I couldn't come to bed. So I stood in the doorway. I just stood in the dark. You didn't say anything back. So I said it again. I don't know how long I stood there. Just waiting for you to say good night. You. you still look the same age to me. I wonder if I'll ever forget your face. Do I remember your mother as she is? I remember loving her. Or am I just thinking of some perversion of Daniel's portrait? I remember loving her. Can you ever picture someone clearly if you love them? Can you ever picture someone clearly if you hate them? Fuck. And it's doing great shit here as well on a meta level, right? By conveying meaning to the player with choices that you don't even necessarily pick, right? Like... A great example just now was the plague one, you know? It still conveys meaning and understanding to the player, even if you decide not to pick it, you know? A lot, I feel like a lot of good um, narrative games end up doing that. Uh, if they have it to where, like, you can pick your answer right, they'll, they'll still just, like, convey a shitload of meaning to you just by way of uh, having an option, even if you choose not to pick it. I remember this exact thing happening in... Uh, Disco Elysium with some of the options that we had. Can you ever picture someone clearly if you hate them? I loved you, little boy. I wish I didn't. I loved you so much. I loved you so much. Sometimes I wish I could die so I wouldn't feel it anymore. But I can't. So I retrace my steps every night. And I find my way back to her. Back to you. I love you, August. Good night. Oh my god. Holy shit. 
Jeez, man. That's fucking incredible. It recontextualizes a lot of shit. Oh my god. Yo. Is that Beatrice? Or is that someone else in the middle? Man, speaking of disco, this is some very disco sounding music. With how, like, discordant or whatever you call it, like the echoiness of it. Oh, man. Where's Prester John? And where are Socrates and St. Grobian? Grobian wasn't on the Ship of Fools. Melancholia. Won't you answer me? No thoughts for Beatrice. You are Beatrice, aren't you? Once, I was a voice of caution, of prudence. And now, more and less than caution, the ache of doubt that stiffens to paralysis, paralysis that breeds despair. Melancholia, what happened to you? What happened to the others? What happened to you? What happens to you happens to us. The foundation of this city are s the foundations of this city are still moored within the ocean of your mind. Its court does not rule your mind. Your mind rules the court. Once reason, curiosity, and the foolishness of youth dwelt under the aegis of your intellect. W er, once reason, curiosity, and the foolishness of youth dwelt under the aegis of your intellect. I am all that remains, the melancholy of life, Sodom. But it is only June. Is that it, then? How did it come to this? How did it come to this? You have turned your gaze to your own dark center. You know the courses of your own life. You know how the choices you've made have brought you here. What am I supposed to do about it now? Change your life. Ellipses. Wait, I shouldn't be here. I needed to help someone. Is Kaspar alright? Ah, so your thoughts aren't entirely turned inward. There is still something in you that cares for others in spite of your melancholy. Perhaps there is still hope for us. Wake up, Andreas. Oh my gosh, at the end I felt like she looked at me, the player. Ooh, St. John's Eve. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, what if we chose to... Fuck me, is Kaspar really going to be fucking dead? Would he have stayed there anyway if I said no, he would have refused and gotten angry? Or ran off or something? The room is sparse. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's head down here. Maybe I should have told him otherwise. I don't know. I feel like that's... <laughs> that partially illustrates maybe a problem I have in real life. Kids like me, but I'm probably way too lenient with kids. Okay. Oh shit. This was a shooting star, I think. Or a bird. Okay, we're going to pet Shalau for good luck. Shalau, grant me your boon. <laughs> Casper not be dead. 
<laughs> oh dear lord. Like, there's no way... Like, if Casper is dead... There can't be multiple, like, different options for the murder victim, right? It's gotta always be the same person, otherwise, like, the amount of writing would- would be, like, way beyond the scope of this game, right? Oh, man. Should we check Our Lady of the Labyrinth at this hour? We could go in there. Fuck. Let's have a look. Man. The Labyrinth, huh? Ellipses. Okay. A painting of the Virgin Mary. What does the labyrinth symbolize? Clicking that again. I'm telling you, I bet there's a very literal labyrinth. We can see the remainder of the party. This bonfire is much simpler than the one in Nuremberg, but it's pretty all the same. Otto? Hello, Andreas. Enjoying the bonfire? Your costume looks just like a fancy nightdress. I'm looking for Kaspar. Have you seen him? This is my nightdress, Otto. I'm looking for Kaspar. Have you seen him? Huh? No, I haven't seen the boy tonight. A group of townspeople went into the forest to collect herbs, though. You might see if he wandered off with them. Enjoy the festival while you're at it, Andreas. We're showing the abbot what for. Okay. God, well, hopefully he's with the others. <laughs> Could you imagine if there were multiple killings this time? Oh my god. I guess it's possible. Let's see. Let's head over to the forest then. What's our best route there? Let's see. Outer. Hmm. I guess church. Church and Druckers. There we go. Anything else around these parts? Martin Bauer and Widow Kemperin. Forest. Oh, yo, look at everybody. Fuck yes. Oh my god. Oh, we can't call out to them? Oh, this is so fucking legit. Holy fuck. Okay. I just wanted to see if there was someone hanging out over here. Maybe Smokey was out looking at everybody. I think they're a little drunk, too. Dude, I fucking love it. I remember looking into this, um, way back when I first played Witcher 3, speaking of the Wild Hunt, and I guess this is more of where they got some of the, uh, character design from, but, um, like, this especially, these two, like, ladies here picking the herbs, that's what, um, you know, the crones in Witcher and all of that sort of have their characters designed around those outfits. I thought it was really cool, so I ended up looking up a little bit of it. I think also at some point someone had posted, like, a big, like, thread sort of covering it on Twitter or something. Something along those lines. Okay, and, the, and there's, like, real-life versions of it and all that. Let's check the shrine. Ah, of course. <gasps> Who is that? Kaspar. You're not murdered. Master Andreas, what are you doing out here? Kaspar, thank God. I was worried when you didn't come back. Where have you been? Right, but we just got worried because of our own shit, right? We're, we're fucked up, <laughs> right? We, we're not thinking straight. We got overly worried, but understandably, I guess. Kaspar, what the hell are you still doing up? Why didn't you come back? Let's come off as a worried parent. Kaspar, thank God. I was worried when you didn't come back. Where have you been? 
I was at the bonfire with Killian, but I heard a ruckus from deeper in the woods. I left to go see what it was. Right, Killian. The sweeping boy. Oh shit. Father Gerno? What are you doing out here? I was chasing one of the townsfolk, but lost track of the costume buffoon. The forest is off limits. I'll figure out who's breaking the rules and excommunicate them myself. What the fuck? Okay, maybe that was the murder victim. But also consider... What if it's fucking what's-her-name once again screaming out at the body, right? What was her name? Who was it last time? Was it Margaret? What if she found the body again this time? Maybe it's her. Maybe she's the killer. She finds it every time and fakes it or some shit. <laughs> Someone is screaming in town. They're really taking this nonsense too far this year. Let's go back to town and see what's happened. Let's go back to town together and see what the noise was. What are we still doing here? Come on. Let's go back to town and see what's happened. Meeting at the shrine. Yo, we got a party of three. Damn. What we got, like... Healer and... Fuck, we're artists. <laughs> what the fuck do we do? <laughs> we're like... We're like buff classes or something. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, people are gone. Oh, yo! Did you see that? It was like a bird lord. Huh, I've never seen these flowers before. I wonder where they found them. Who was that running off anyway? Dude, that was a fucking killer. That was a fucking killer. It's too hard to tell who's who's who in those stupid costumes. We can worry about that later. Let's check on the town first. Who cares? Let's see what the screaming is about. Let's check on the town first. What if they're wearing the same robes we saw that one night? Oh my god. Yo. It's Otto. It's Otto and on top of it. The prime motive suspect who would have done it is in the clear. Right? Right? Who but Garno would be the prime suspect if Otto is dead, and he is in the fucking clear? Fuck. Oh my god. Werner says, dead. Yes, I'm afraid so. Someone released the rope. The platform crushed him. What? How did this happen? Baltus and Leonard and I heard the crash and stepped outside to see what had happened. Right. Then we saw a figure in a costume rushing off from the rat house. We must have been. It must have been whoever released the rope. And what were you doing all during all this, Leonard? Enjoying a light meal with these gentlemen. Ah, what a shame. You can't blame me for this, Peter. Yeah, whoever it is is not here either, probably, right? Okay. Which makes sense, because why would... Yeah, a lot of these would not have been suspects, except maybe... Um... Werner, right? Because Werner didn't quite get along with Otto. But everyone else was down to clown with Otto. Okay. So that also exonerates another potential motive-having killer. Right? Werner didn't care for Otto. Like, we didn't have a motive, but suspicion, right? It dispels more suspicion. Kaspar, look to see if Otto had a note. <laughs> Jeez, we're gonna make Kaspar do it? Come on. <laughs> huh? Do it. Yo... The Thread Puller. No, Master. There's nothing. Are you certain? What were you expecting? 
I'm not sure. Oh, what? What if it's a different killer then? Ava, oh no. My God. Otto. No, no. Jeez. You. The abbot must have killed him. The bastard always had it out for Otto. We all knew it. We need answers. How dare you? I won't just stand here and be accused of such a foul act by a peasant. Oh, well, that's great. He's running. <laughs> Go after him. Wait, no, the abbot was with us. He's innocent. That's right. There's no way he could have killed Otto. Kaspar is right, even if we don't have any proof. That's right, there's no way he could have killed Otto. Oh, shit. Grab the artist and the boy, too. We'll get to the bottom of this. Kaspar, run! Holy shit, yo! Oh my god! Oh my god, to the Abbey! Yo. Oh my god, this is not how I saw it playing out at all. Holy shit. Oh my god. Huh. Who the fuck could it be? They were kind of tall. I mean, it couldn't have been Illuminata, right? <laughs> huh. But they do meet the same description as... Brothers, to the library now! Holy shit. Yeah, they were kind of tall and kind of thin. They ran through the church. This way! Yo. Huh. They've locked the door. Oh, shit. Andreas, get out of the way. Otto's death demands justice. The abbot couldn't have killed Otto. He was with us when we found the body. That's true. He did arrive with you, but you don't know where he was before that, do you, Andreas? Who else would want to kill Otto? Coward! Killer! Andreas, move! I'm not moving. I won't let you in. If you go after Gerno, the real killer will get away. I don't like his stance any more than you, but violence is not the answer here, Peter. Stand your ground. Let's try to appeal to not liking him. I don't like his stance any more than you, but violence is not the answer here, Peter. No mercy! Face us! He's a monster! If those monks don't come out... We'll set fire to the whole place and cook them. You've all gone mad. Even if you don't trust the abbot, trust me. I swear he wasn't the one to do it. He was with me. Look, Gerno wasn't the only one who disagreed or disliked Otto. There must be someone else who killed him. You all have good reasons to hate the abbot, but he's not the culprit here. I mean, we are on, a, on good terms with a lot of the peasants, right? Even if you don't trust the abbot, trust me. I was there too. Master Andreas is telling the truth. Fine, damn it. You've got one day to find whoever you think is the real killer, Andreas. Otherwise, we will come back for the abbot. Oh, man. Andreas, all I want is justice for my husband. Please, you must find the murderer. I swear, I will find whoever really killed Otto. Ava, Otto was a good man. I won't stop until I find who killed him. Otto was a good man. Jesus. Oh my god, I don't know if we'll be able to find him. Holy shit, yeah, of course we slept during the day. Our sleeping pattern is fucked. The peasants are really convinced that Gerno killed Otto. But it was impossible. Peter's temper got in the way. The abbot is an easy target because he was at odds with Otto and his cause. It was no secret that Gerno and Otto were at odds. 
I don't wish death on the man, but the abbot is an ass. Peter's temper got in the way. The abbot is an easy target because he was at odds with Otto and his cause. Master, Peter was furious. He's only giving you a day to find the murderer. Why do you, why do you even agree to find who really killed Otto anyway? It didn't turn out well last time, did it? Why do it again? Everyone deserves justice, Kaspar. Honestly, anything to keep from going back to Nuremberg. I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. I like to think that Andreas, at least my playthrough of Andreas, he's trying to find meaning here, right? Life is spiraling out of control and in directions that he doesn't want, and he's trying to find some control and some meaning here. And maybe, like, have a change, right? Being able to impact some measure of change. And that's why. But he doesn't want to talk about it. Ellipses. So, who do you think did it, then? Where do we even start? Yeah, we have even less to go off of now, because... Like I said, the two prime suspects are, like, exonerated. We should talk to Leonard. He always hated the peasants and supported the abbot. He was very vocal against Otto in the town commons the other day. He might have hated Otto enough to kill him. It's worth talking to him and finding out. Even if he didn't kill Otto, he might know who else had the motivation, too. Let's say that. Because he was there, right? And we saw... Our biggest suspect run the other way. We have the flowers. We have a rough idea of their body type. <sighs> Fuck. He might know who else had the motivation, too. Oh, what about Martin Bauer? When we saw him talking to Otto, they seemed to be arguing over something. I don't think so. Hmm. It's not likely. Martin supported Otto and the peasants. Martin was always an ass. If they had a bad, ar bad enough argument, he could have wanted to kill Otto. It would be worth talking to Martin to see what they were discussing. He might have an idea of who would want to kill Otto. Good idea. Who else? I can't think of anyone else who would want to kill Otto. I'm sure we can find some other suspects. Uh, I'm sure we can find some other suspects. We'll have to do some more investigating to find out who the murderer is. But we'd better move fast. Could the murderer confess to Father Thomas? Probably. That would... Probably not. That would be foolhardy. Well, maybe. Even if the murderer did, Father Thomas is bound by the seal of confession. He won't tell us. He won't tell us. However, we could eavesdrop on confessions. Since St. John's Eve just happened, the townsfolk will all come in to confess. Oh, yeah. One of the townsfolk might have heard something anyway. That's a good place to start. Dude, I bet... What if it is Old Smokey? Right? Old Smokey didn't care for Otto. Not because Otto... He, not necessarily because he disliked Otto, but he wanted to preserve Tassing. Right? He didn't care for Otto's way of thinking because he wanted to preserve Tassing. He wanted... Um, Old Smokey would be into the pagan stuff. Right? Uh... Old Smokey would kind of matches the body description, right? The rough body description. He would know where to find these weird flowers that uh, Kaspar found on the ground after the suspect ran. Uh, Old Smokey wouldn't go to the church to confess, right? Because I assume if we go to the church to confess, we're not going to hear anyone confess, right? We're not going to hear them talk about it. Oh, man. We could also ask around at the Golden Hand. The travelers might have seen or heard something useful. People will tell outsiders anything. They might have heard something we missed. The travelers might have seen or heard something useful. What about the person who ran by us in the forest? They were wearing these flowers. I've never seen them before. At the very least, we could ask Old Smokey about the flowers. Right. We have to find the source of those flowers in the woods. That might give us some sort of connection to the killer. Oh my gosh, my reactivity is paying off, baby. Oh wait, I know this flower. 
it's a marsh marigold. It, it, it and grows. I think it's a typo, like a real ass one. It and grows in wet, shaded woods. The flower might have some, might have a medical use. Someone with medical knowledge in Tassing might know where it grows. We have a lot of good places to start. Even though time is short, we have a good chance at finding the real killer. Oh, wait, I know this flower. It's a marsh marigold. It and grows in wet, shaded woods. Perhaps around the St. Satia Shrine. The large tree in the area would provide the adequate environment. We have a lot of good places to start. Even though time is short, we have a good chance at finding the real killer. All right, let's get to work. Holy shit. Fuck, we have so many leads in so little time. We have half as much time as last time this happened. Oh my god. Yo. And, oh fuck, I love that we're having to do this to defend, like, a person that most players are gonna fucking hate. Oh my god. It's, the way it, pay, it plays out and, and is handled is so fucking clever. Right? To force you into such a fucked up position. Oh my god. Alright. Shit. Yeah, when next we come back, I guess, we'll, uh, we'll call it a little bit early. I am a little short on time, and I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't want to go too far over, right? So we'll just call it a little early. But, when next we come back, I guess it's time to get back to investigating. Until next time, please, take care of each other.